All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be taking a look at the last product in the black bean grocery lineup. Today we got their superior clay. Last time we had their superior pomade from a previous season. Not much has changed in terms of developing this superior clay from my understanding when I spoke with James. The biggest thing that has changed is just the scent. If you guys remember what the superior pomade smelled like, it was more on like a double mint gum, like spearmint kind of scent. A lot sweeter. This one, the I guess the sweet tones have been dialed back. It's more on the eucalyptus kind of spearmint mix. For me, it reminds me of like a very light Vicks where it's like refreshing to the nose, but at the same time, it's not too minty or sweet. It's just got that nice like, I don't even know how to describe that. I never even needed to describe that. It's just like that kind of sharp minty menthol kind of scent. Just to confirm. Yeah. Very light eucalyptus spearmint. And I believe it was like some kind of tea, like black tea or something. But it's got a bit of sweetness to it. Not drastic as the first uh, superior pomade, but Let's go ahead and take a look how it does for my hair. Um, got a haircut yesterday. Basically just got a two on the side, trimmed the top a little bit, nothing too crazy. Scooping it out, again, same consistency as the Superior Pomade. Spreading it around, super easy, almost like lotion. So applying it to the hair, let's go ahead Apply it to the back first. At the moment, this product is a little bit more moist than a couple of other products I've used. Um, although it is a clay, it does not feel like the grittiness of a clay. It's got like a little bit of like texture to it, but doesn't have the same like it's not the same crazy grittiness that we get from most traditional, I guess they're traditional now, but most clays in general. This one just feels like super soft. All right. So used about a dime scoop and then just to top everything off, I'm gonna use about a baby scoop for the front so that things get, oh shoot, that things get held in place. Cool. All right, so the scent right now isn't too crazy. It's not overpowering in any way. Let's go ahead and get the comb. Just right now, I could probably like finish the finger combing right in, like this. You guys can see somewhat slick. It's got a nice sheen to it, but overall, I would say it's still a matte. I'm just gonna give it like a couple hours to kind of dry off so that we can see if it's actually a true matte product. So let's go ahead and comb it. No tugging. We have a very smooth application process. It's always a good sign. But in terms of like deeming it as a clay, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily call it a clay. It's more of like a mix between a clay and like a water-based product. Airing on more of the water-based product kind of side. So combing it, relatively easy. The hold I would say it's more on the medium to like strong hold. Probably a medium hold at this point. So, if you guys take a look, comb lines are fairly fine. Things are held up really nicely. There's not too much weight on my hair. Definitely no buildup for this product. I've tried it like a couple times in the past. Easily rinse, rinse this off with a shower. So, let's go ahead and get throughout the day and then come back and see if this product kind of lasts, if it 
dims or dulls in terms of like the slickness and the shine and just give my final thoughts. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Let me fix this. Bueno. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. One thing I forgot to mention is that the superior clay comes in a four ounce jar. Whereas if you guys have the superior pomade, you guys remember it came in a six ounce jar. TSA, you guys better give me back my pomade, man. But just an FYI, can't bring this specific one, I believe, because it's a little bit too watery. But I've had no issues with any other pomades except for this one. So just a word of caution, even if it's a pomade or a clay. Overall, we take a look at the hair. Not much has changed. Um, I've just been editing all day, cooking, doing laundry, just kind of getting ready for the weekend because I have my powerlifting meet, just trying to get everything settled. The hair has dulled out. The matte, it's definitely a matte finish at this point. Restyling it doesn't feel too dry to the touch. Can get things pretty neat still. Overall, I'd say it's a medium to strong hold. It won't have the crazy amount of weight that the Brilliantine has with like, or with most like oil products. You're not gonna get that crazy like waxy kind of consistency and you can't really depend on the weight of the product to kind of put your hair together. This is more on the, the clay side where things are like well controlled, but at the same time, it's not really weighed down. I'd say it airs on the more natural kind of like hairstyles. And for those with like probably medium to long hair, this would be good. For those with like maybe super long hair with the traditional pumps and slick backs and stuff, this will probably won't give you the like needed weight to kind of hold all your hair in place. So overall, pomade is essentially the same as the superior pomade. All right, let me rephrase that. The superior clay is the same as the superior pomade with some changes in the scent, a lot more subtle, um, more minty, and overall, just not as overpowering in the initial application. There you guys have it. That's the last of the Black Bean Grocery line. Peace out.